For my next trick, I'm gonna do a deck review. Today I'm reviewing kind of the parody deck of the Jerry's Nugget decks, okay, which is the Chicken Nugget deck. It comes, at least mine, came in a big pack like this one, and inside you have four decks of playing cards, two being red and two being blue, which I have right over here, okay? I have opened one of them and played around the blue one, whereas the red one is sealed, okay? And there is also a third deck that is in black, which is the limited edition deck. Now today I'm gonna review the blue one and all the design is basically the same in these decks. The only difference is the back color, which you can see right here. Okay, so let's get started with the three colors you get. Okay, so red, blue, and black. Um, the card case is quite simple as you can see. It has the back design on both sides and it has chicken nugget, okay, chicken nugget on both long edges. Okay. And by the way, one uh, important thing about this deck is that these cards are not printed by the United States Playing Card Company. But even though they are printed in Taiwan, I believe in Taiwan, yeah, the cards are from beautiful quality. Yeah, I, I'm really, I was really fascinated when I first had it in my hands because I was expecting a deck that was similar to the quality of MPC, but this is really an awesome deck. It really could be a deck from the US PCC. That's been said, I'm just gonna show you the back design right here, okay? So if you're familiar with the Jerry Snugget decks, you will recognize this deck design, okay? The only difference is here it says chicken, okay? A great, simple design. Now, when you take out the cards, you will get two additional cards, one being an ad card that shows you the back design of the limited edition deck, the black one, okay, right here. And in, in addition to that, you will get a card that shows all 52 playing cards, okay? This is great for prediction effects, like a fun prediction effect where you say, what was your card, the seven of spades? Here we go, right? So a very fun extra card you get with the chicken nugget that. Now, here I'm gonna show you one last time the back design, okay? Looks beautiful. The colors are very, very well uh, chosen. The red, the tune of the blue, it is really, really awesome. It looks something like this. Now, when you, before I talk about the handling, I'm, talk, I'm going to talk about the design of the faces. Now the faces are quite simple, okay? They are really like the uh, normal USPCC, like bicycle playing cards. The only differences is, are actually the face cards, the ace of spades, and the jokers. Okay, I'm going to take out some cards to demonstrate you how amazingly they are done, okay? An awesome thing about this deck, you get two identical jokers, which is of course perfect for magic tricks. Okay, the jokers look something like this. Okay, very simple, yet effective. Then the Ace of Spades is also held quite simple, okay? This is what it looks like. Okay, and the other aces are like uh, standard aces. Just let me show you one of them. In this case, the ace of hearts, as you can see, like usual aces. Now, the amazing part of this deck is the face cards, okay, the court cards, because they are designed a little differently, showing all face cards eating fast food. In this case, we have here the king of hearts eating noodles, okay, the queen of diamonds again eating something, the Jack of Spades. The Queen of Hearts eating here a pack of chicken nuggets. Okay, they are really, really funny um, court cards. The Queen of Clubs with a popcorn in your hand. Okay, and these are basically the face cards. They are all this designed differently, eating something different. And besides that, 
there is no extra design going on with the bag. The bag is held very simple, the face cards are all usual uh, like bicycle cards except for the Ace of Spades Jokers and the court cards which are really one of my favorite court ca cards in my collection. Now, having talked about the design, let's talk about the quality. Now, as you can see, this pack handles very, very well. Okay, I mean, even like just doing this, spreading the cards or just fanning the cards should be a sign that this deck is really produced in a good quality because you can't do that with any deck. You know, it would it would be like a clumsy deck that you couldn't spread or fan. And fanning is something that I usually just witnessed uh, with USPCC cards that work very well. However, this is also top quality when you fan it. Okay, another thing, uh, you can't really do the fairy shuffle with any deck. Here we go. This works awesome with this pack of playing cards too. Now, I believe this is a deck that mainly flourishes with use. However, it is also not something that has really fancy design elements in it, meaning it is also perfect for uh, magic purposes, which is of course my style of using them. And of course, just to play around with them too. The cards themselves, like when you have one of them in your hand, they are not too thick like you, can, you could compare them with uh, the stand like with bicycle playing cards, they're not too thick, too thin. They're like genuine USPCC playing cards. Uh, there is like it feels like a smooth finish. I don't know which finish these cards have, but it feels like an Aladdin deck, the non air cushion finished one. Okay, however, I also have to add these are far better handling than the Aladdin deck. Okay, if you know. Uh, which deck I'm talking about. And yeah, that's basically all I can tell you about this deck. A very standard, awesomely designed party deck that is perfect for magicians, flourishes, and also just for people wanting to play a game of poker. That's been said. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you can get your hands on one of these, especially the limited edition one, which I'm not gonna open, at least not at the moment. That's been said, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and let me know with a thumbs up and a subscription on the channel. That's been said, I'll see you next time.